Hello, everyone, and welcome. Today, I am going to be ranking all of the Neopets UC Gray Pets because, I mean, I thought I was prepared for Neopets to be releasing the NCUC Fairies and that that was just going to be it, but they dropped a bombshell on us and told us that they were going to be also releasing the Greys and the Derrigans, so I was like, um, I need to do some tier lists so that I am prepared and that hopefully it can help you be prepared to figure out which gray pets you want to get, right? So I was like, all right, the best way to do this is a uh, ranking. <laughs> so, um, I want to say thank you for being here and I hope that you are prepared for this NCUC apocalypse that is coming on us. I mean, I don't want to talk too much about the controversies, but there's been a lot of um, fires and riots in the chat boards um, because uh, apparently they are converting all of the current UC pets on the site back to converted Um because they're rolling out the NCUCs. So I don't want to get too much into the specifics of it. Um, I might share a couple little tidbits about how I personally feel, but, um, you know, for the most part, I do think that this is a good thing to be able to get new UCs essentially, um, because the market just felt so like, I don't know, out of reach for many players um, t to get a UC, um, including like even longtime players like myself. Like I don't have any UC pets, period. Like I don't have a single one. Um, and I love UC pets. Like I actually prefer UC pets to the converted pets for the most part. Um, but I'm just not <laughs> like in the trading scene enough to like have been able to get a unconverted pet and my oldest account um which i lost a million years ago like my one uc pet that survived the conversion ended up getting pounded so that's not that's not you know i can't count that because he's not mine anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm excited that we're getting these. Um, one of the things that they did confirm is that you don't need to paint your pet the color that you want it to be. So if you just buy the NCUC thing, it will make your pet that color, I'm assuming, is just the wearable. Like, if you took it off, it would be whatever color originally. I don't know. It's not out yet. It's coming out in a few days. So hopefully we will know a little bit more information. But anyway, enough of me rambling. I'm sure this video is going to be long enough as it is without it. Um, I do want to go ahead and get started. So I have here my tier list. Um, I have here starting at the lowest tier, Dumpster Fire. So this is like, you know, when you feel like your life is going to shit and it's turning into a dumpster fire. But maybe it's just not quite, you know, so bad yet, right? So this is going to be our, like, F tier. Like, it's just not, the, you know, not the worst or uh, not the best in this situation, I guess. Um, Step up from that is going to be crying in the shower. <laughs> because, you know, when things get a little bit more chaotic in your life and start going downhill, you know, you might catch yourself crying in the shower a little bit. So it's still not as bad as it could be, um, but it could definitely be better, right? So as we go up on the sadness tier, it goes to bottomless pit. And this is when you become a bottomless pit. You feel like you're sinking into a bottomless pit. You might turn into a bottomless pit and start like binge eating <laughs> or something. Not talking from experience at all. No, not me. Who? Um... 
you know, and then it goes up from there to afraid for my life. This is when shit's really hitting the fan and, like, you think that, like, stuff might be happening soon and going up into sad, sad, because I didn't want to list this tier as what I actually wanted to because I know for a fact that that would get censored. So we're just going with sad, sad instead of... uh super sad okay so yeah so s tier right so we got s tier a tier b tier c tier d tier right i did that on purpose but s tier is going to be like the best my favorite super sad pets like the best sad pet and then d tier is going to be you know the worst pet design in my opinion okay so all of this is my opinion and you don't have to agree with me and that's fine in fact, I encourage you that if you do disagree with me, let me know in the comments, all right? So, alphabetically, we're going here with the Depresso Espresso uh, Akara, and I I like that she still has, like, the really cute, um, like, pink paws, but everything's, like, really muted. She looks really sad, so... Um, I, you know, I'm just going to start her off here with, like, crying in the shower because, like, you know, she looks like she's been pretty sad, like, but not, like, the most sad, right? Not like this Aisha here who's got this, like, super emo <laughs> look to her with her droopy ears and her dark eyes. Like, I don't know if those bags under her eyes... Or if, you know, she's got, like, that emo eyeliner on. Um, but I feel like, you know, maybe she might be afraid for her life. Right? Um, so, why do I have two chompies here? Oh, uh, because this is the happy chompy, and then the actual chompy is, like, much more sad. Um... I apologize for having both of these on here. Um, I'll go ahead and put this Trombi up, and I'll leave this other one down. But um, he's got this cute little, like, curl going on, you know. He's, like, pretty freaking sad, like, uh, even though this one's kind of got, like, a smile. <laughs> um, I feel like, you know, he's got, like, his little spikes overall i think it's a good design i like you know chonky trombies i feel like maybe he's you know been binge eating a little too much and we're gonna put him here in the bottomless pit um the sai bunny look at those bags under her eyes like girl um she really is like suffering <laughs> like she's just really not happy to be here i feel like she's pretty afraid for her life like like, things are not going well, and if they don't start improving soon, like, things are going to get real bad real quick. Um, We have here the Grey Drake, which I am personally extremely excited for, not only as a Drake fan, but because Grey Drake has not been previously released. It was designed way back in the day, but it was just never released because... I guess shortly after they designed it, they were like, we're going to convert all the pets, so time to make a new one. Um, but look at that. Like, he's just a baby, right? Like, he's so freaking cute. Um, I don't know if he in particular is afraid for his life, but I am going to be sad, sad if I don't get one in my life because he's just that cute. Um, and then we have here the Gray Eerie, or Irie. I think it's Eerie. I call him Eerie. I don't know about you. Um, I think that he looks really, like, adorable <laughs> in, like, the saddest way possible, of course. Um, I've never been much of a Irie, Eerie fan. <laughs> um, but I like a lot of the UC Eeries. And this one is included. Like, I like that his wings are kind of, like, parade-looking. 
Um, I do think that he could have been like a little bit, uh, I don't know, improved in some way. I don't know how, like, I'm just talking here out of my butt because I don't know how I personally would have improved him from a design standpoint, but like maybe like give him a little bit more muscle or like not muscled, not muscly muscled, like messed up, uh, fur in a front maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to put him here next to the Akara, Akara, because, uh, I don't know. I feel like they're pretty, like, legit. Um, the Flotsam, he looks pretty damn sad, like, not going to lie. Like, he looks like, you know, you just took his favorite toy away from him, and he is not happy. And that was, like, the last toy that his, like, deceased mother gave him. You know, and you're the evil stepmother, and you just took that shit away from him because you don't want any reminders of the woman that came before you in this marriage. So you just yanked it. And um, this guy has got a lot in store for him in the future. But he's just beginning his journey of depression, and he is a dumpster fire. The Grey Galert is so dang cute. It's got inspiration. I feel like the Greg Alert looks more like the was like Gen 2 Galert, like the old guy. These ones here. Like this I think is yeah, the Gen 2. Apparently they used to look like this before. I was not present for that. I was present for this on the other hand. Um when the Galerts were given whip like tails and ears. Um, I feel like, I feel like this Galert here has kind of like a similar vibe to that, you know, and then they kind of turn into like these really cute, um, stockier, shorter looking ones, which I mean, I like personally, I'm, I'm not gonna deny, I, I'm a fan of this Galert design, but there's something about that gray Galert that looks kind of more like the Gen 2s. Not, I'm not saying that as like a negative thing. I'm just saying that in general, like as an observation, right? So, um, I don't know. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a Galert stan, right? Okay, like I have two Galerts on my main account. Um, not that I'm a Galert exclusivist by any means, but I mean, um, I do like my Galerts. So, I don't know, like, I feel like, I feel like it's a good design. Could it be better? Maybe. Do you think this Galert is afraid for his life because he's just, like, that good? Am I going to go out of my way to spend my money and hard-earned dollar bills to get this Galert? I mean, probably not. I do like them a lot, though. I feel like maybe maybe she's going to go on a binge and she'd be a lot bottomless pit. Go alert. Um, Alright, next we got the Grey Grarl, which, I mean, he just looks done. He's just unamused. He is not happy. He's like, I'm so done with your shit. <laughs> He's like, can you please, like, get out of my presence? Like, I don't want to deal with you anymore. I don't want to hear what you have to say. I've tuned you out, like, an hour ago kind of deal. And I... I don't know. Grarls have been growing on me. But this isn't particularly it, either. Um, I feel like... You know, maybe maybe he's crying in the shower. Putting him here kind of also makes me want to put the Akira up a little bit. Just because I, I don't know, I do like her design almost as much as the Galert. So I'm going to bump her up while we're here. Okay, Grey Grundos. Um, look at that smile. Like, he's like pleading for you to come help him and be his friend because he just needs a lifeline. He is sad, sad, and really just wants you to, like, be there for him. I'm putting him up here in S tier because he's just, 
he's just like a must, you know? I feel like he's pretty perfect the way he is. Just with that handout, he's just like, please, like, please hold my hand. Please don't let me be alone anymore. Um, Great Ixy is also sad, sad. Like, he is just like the photo that you see at the, like, the pound when they've rescued a poor puppy from, like, a horrible situation and they're like hey we got to take some photos so people see these cute you know puppies here obviously i know ixie is like a goat or what not but they're like you know we got to take photos of these puppies and then you just end up seeing like this like you you could hear the sarah mclaughlin music behind this photo you know what i mean um i'm putting him up here in sad sad <laughs> All right. Um, gray jetsam. I like UC jetsams, but this one is not doing it for me. I'm making his life even sadder. Poor guy. Like he's like he's like done. He's like I'm not. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> He's just not happy about it. I'm I'm going to put him here in the dumpster fire because I just don't think he's as good as, like, the Grarl. You know what I mean? Um. Okay, and then we have the Gray Jub Jub. And look at those bags under his eyes. He has been crying a lot, okay? He's not happy. His fur is all messed up. He has not showered in days. Kind of depressed. Um, I kind of love these. I'm, I have my Jub Jub and I love my Jub Jub, but I'm not a Jub Jub fan. Like I like my Jub Jub and I like a few other people's Jub Jubs, not going to lie, but they're not my thing. I like this Jub Jub a lot though. Okay. I like gray Jub Jubs. Um, I think that this gray Jub Jub is afraid for his life. Okay. Like he's just. He's just, it's concerning. Like, get this boy help, okay? Speaking of pets that need help, this Kachik is legitimately so depressed. Like, he he needs help fast. He needs help, like, yesterday, okay? Look at that tail. That is so mangy. Um, He's just, like, slumped over. He's, like, given up already. He's, like, just gone. That vacant stare in his eyes, like, He's gone. Um, I love him. He's already binged eat like the whole kitchen, and there's no food left, and he doesn't know what else to do with himself. And but I know what to do with him. I'm gonna put him in afraid for my life tier because I just think that he's a pretty great design and probably one of my personal favorite kachiks. Gray cows, like, they look sad, but they kind of just look like a gray cow. You know what I mean? Like, she's not giving, you know, afraid for my life. She's not giving, like, she's like, you know, I'm sorry. She's like, I'm tired of seeing what's happening in the farming industry with, you know, all of these poor cows that are suffering and I'm just not here for it. Like she accidentally walked into the wrong room at the cow farm. You know what I mean? Like she walked into the wrong room and she's a little scared. Um, but I think she could be a lot sadder considering some of these designs. You know what I mean? Um, so she's going to go down here in the dumpster fire because her life and her dreams are coming to an end in the sense of, like, what she thinks life is at this point. And, like, she's just walked through the door of what she thinks of what life actually is versus what she thinks it is. So her misery is only starting, okay? Now we have the gray koi and yeah he looks pretty freaking sad like I genuinely feel like he's just like 
he's just like done. He doesn't have any more hobbies or interests. He's like so over it. He um just doesn't care anymore. He's like whatever, dude, you know. Um I feel like design-wise it's not terrible, but there's not it's not giving much. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and put him here. I like him a little bit more than the than the Jetson though. Next we have this little Corbat, and I mean, he's just so dang cute, um, like, in the saddest way possible, of course. Um, he's just, like, so slumped over, and he's just got the sad ears, and I don't know, he kind of, like, has the same kind of pose as the Kachik, but I don't know, I think he's cute. There's, there's something definitely more sad about the Kachik, in my opinion, I don't know exactly what it is, if it's just, like, that vacant stare, um, but I feel like he's, he's about to go on that binge, like, he's, he's, like, mid-binge, you know what I mean? Um, Grey Cobra. I love the Grey Cobra, and I would probably get a Grey Cobra. Actually, I have a Grey Cobra, what am I saying? Um... I should, I should just turn my Gary Cobra into a UC because they're so dang cute, right? Like, look at that sad. This is like, again, like the um, ICSI. There's this, you know, photos of pets at the pound and you have Gray Cobra. Like, wouldn't you adopt this? Wouldn't you adopt this if you saw this guy and you're like, I could give him a great home, right? So I'm going to put him up here in sad, sad because I just... I just think he's pretty great. <laughs> um, Great Kiri is really cute. I, you know, I'm also not really a Kiri fan, but I do like the design. I think that, um, she's got a lot going on in, or they've got a lot going on in their life. Like, they you know, probably had, like, their parents just divorced and they don't, like, know how their life is going to turn out necessarily. Um, they think that their life is over because their fairy tale dream of having, you know, these perfect loving parents has just popped. And, you know, they think that maybe it's their fault that their, that their parents' marriage has failed. <laughs> And so they're just crying in the shower, just, you know, so sad and hopeful that maybe one day their parents can resolve things and their life can go back to normal. But they know that that's probably not going to happen. Um, and now we have the gray croc, which, I mean, if we're talking about UC crocs, I am here for them because... I love Crocs. I will always love Crocs. And if we're talking about UC Crocs, I will spend all the money on all of them. Like, you can guarantee, just straight off the bat, even though I have one Croc on my account right now because I do not like converted Crocs, you can guarantee that on the 23rd, I'm going to buy three Croc tokens, one gray, one Darigan, and one fairy, because I love me some UC Crocs. Um, he's just sad. <laughs> um, you know, is he the best designed pet out there? Probably not. It's just my bias towards Crocs. Um, but I am going to put him afraid for my life because I, I, I do think that he's really cute. He's got that, like, slumped expression. Like, he's just sad and done and, like, things are not improving. They haven't been improving for a while. Like, he looks like he's probably not only been binging on food, if you know what I mean. Like, he has moved past food a while ago and he is afraid for his life now. Um, You know, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like the gray loop also has kind of that same um problem like he is like he's like divorced dad who has lost custody of his kid because he's got like a gambling addiction like a neopets gambling addiction like he's spent all his money on nerkmids 
and he has not gotten anything but gross food out of it. But he keeps trying. He's like, he's like, I am going to hit the jackpot one of these days. You know, he has spent more time on his couch than on his bed or at work. He probably lost his driver's license. <laughs> um, He's like sad, sad. Okay. Like. There's not much hope for him, all right? But we're going to try and help him, all right? Um, Mirka's... Like, you know the Mirka is sad when they're not standing on their tail, okay? All converted Mirkas are sad because they are not standing on their freaking tail, all right? If we look at the original Mirka design... They are standing on their tail. This is Amirka's natural, like, thing, okay? Baby Amirka's don't stand on their tails because they don't have the strength yet. They don't have the balance yet. Um, and gray Amirka's don't stand on their tails because they are just so feckin' sad, right? Fairy Amirka's don't stand on their tails because they can fly, okay? So, yeah. You know Amirka is sad when they can't stand on their tail. So, I mean, he's got, like, he's got, like, afraid expression. Like, he's just, he's a little scared. He's not sure what his future holds for him. Like, it's like somebody just told him some bad news. And he's not ready to hear it, you know? Um, so, you know, I feel like, like, he's probably crying in the shower, realistically, okay? Like, he's not quite a bottomless pit status yet, but he's, he's crying in that shower. Mohogs, oh my god, Mohogs look so freaking sad. They, they, there's something about Mohogs that screams stoner to me. I don't think that it's just because the gray ones got the red eyes, okay? I don't think that's what it is. There's just something that I like about Mohogs that kind of screams stoner. And that's not a bad thing, okay? Just because I say something, it doesn't mean that it's bad. Um... I, you know, don't have much to say about the Grey Mohawk, if I'm being honest. Like, you know, he's just kind of like, hey man, I, I don't like what we're doing here, but, you know, we're doing this. I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like... Maybe he's, maybe he's also crying in the shower because he's just not, he's just not ready for it. Like, but he's still, he's still showering. Um, gray minces look freaking depressing. Okay. Like you just told him some really bad news. Um, you know, you've stolen all of his favorite toys you've bullied him like he's getting bullied at school okay and you're out here yelling at him because his grades aren't good enough instead of asking him why he's failing at school right so like that's kind of where he's at um he doesn't know what he's gonna do to fix it but i feel like he thinks that you know maybe it can't be fixed um i don't know if he's like crying in the shower or you know, I don't think he's, he's definitely not bottomless pit, but I feel like he's kind of, I don't know, he's kind of dumpster fire, right? Like, he he's just not happy with the trajectory of his life. PFNs are gorgeous, even when they're depressed, okay? Like, 
she's holding her own. She knows what the world is about, and she's not happy about it. Um, she's got more dignity than to be a bottomless pit. Somehow she manages to keep that together. Like maybe she's got the kind of depression that instead of, you know, being a bottomless pit, she can't eat because that happens. Um, you know, she's definitely better design than dumpster fire. She's better, you know, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, even though she's not eating, she's the opposite of binging. She's bottomless pit, you know, that's where I feel. The Grey Poogles are really sad, especially when you consider how, like, cheerful Poogles usually are. Not that the other ones aren't also cheerful, but I feel like there's something extra depressing seeing such a sad Poogle, right? Um, like, his owner just dropped him off at the pound. And he's like, are you for real? Like, you just left me here? Like, this is not happening, right? Um, so... I don't know. He's just not happy. He is just, like, you know, ready to be crying in the shower, I feel. Yeah. Um. So I have two gray teories here because I think I wanted to compare the two because you have the original gray teary design and then you have the new ish gray you see teary design and I kind of prefer the original you see teary because the newer quote-unquote gray teary is kind of like he's got his head up and he's just like extra sad I don't know and then like you have the original UC Grey Terry and he's just like almost angry because you hurt his feelings so while I'm not gonna judge them separately um I feel like this is probably the one that they're gonna use so I'm gonna mostly talk about that one um I don't know, he's, like, really sad, and he's just, like, why am I still here? Um, I don't know if he is quite bottomless pit status, or if he's, like, dumpster fire either. So maybe I will just put him crying in the shower. Um, the Scorcho, it just looks like a normal Scorcho, but sad, if that makes any sense. Like, I had to double check that this wasn't the converted Scorcho, which it's not, but I had to double check because he just looks so, like, normal. The only thing that's, like, kind of droopy about him are his little tail, his little wings, and his little frown. Um... So I don't think his life has really gone down into that spiral yet. So I'm just going to put him here in dumpster fire. That Shoiru has been through a lot of steps, okay? Like, the Shoiru has been through the dumpster fire. He's been crying in the shower. He's done been binge eating, okay? I feel like this Shoiru is afraid for his life because... This is like I'm sitting on the stoop of my porch, like hoping that maybe the sun will perk me up. Maybe the sun will magically cure my depression. Um, but it's just not like he's like last ditch effort trying to find a solution besides going to therapy, right? Um, okay. Can we talk about the gray skeeth and how he's like, please stop hitting me? He looks so afraid. Like, he's, like, been 
He's like in the pound. He's been in the pound for a while. Everybody thinks that he looks terrifying. Um, but he's like been in the pound in the corner, in the recesses of the dark, because he's just been so mistreated by his previous owners. Um he's just not happy and he's so cute. Like I feel for this poor soul. I think that he's afraid for his life, like for real, real. Like for real. Like skis. Blink twice if you need help. Now we have the Teco. And the Teco is honestly kind of like, oops, I messed up. You know, less sad and more like, I'm sorry. Like he's... He's more concerned that he disappointed his parents because they caught him out sneaking out, sneaking back in to his house um, at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And he's not happy because he got caught. And he's more ashamed that he got caught than actually sad, okay? So he's just dumpster fire. The gray unis are really cute, in my opinion. Um, like, I know that it's weird to say that something so sad is so cute, but, I mean, it's true. Um, I think that the uni is not so much afraid for his life as he is a bottomless pit, like... Maybe this uni is trying to find something to fill, fill that void in its heart. So it's turned to food. And maybe a few other things in the process, right? The usul, the gray usul, is sad and it's flopped over, kind of like the kachik, but she's more upset that... Her daddy took her credit card away. Then she is upset at her life in general. Like she thinks, oh my god, I can't get that Fenty bag. Like my life is over. Right? Like that's that's what she's afraid for her life for, right? So it's not real, it's superficial. You know, you could say, oh, maybe her boyfriend broke up with her, but no, it's really that she couldn't go on the shopping spree with daddy's money anymore. So, we're going to stick her in crying in the shower because she's dramaticus and yeah. So, I have here two Tonus. And once again, I have the two Tonus because the original gray Tonu and the quote-unquote current gray Tonu are so different. Um, once again, I'm not going to be judging them separately. I probably should have just grabbed the quote-unquote current gray Tonu, like I like with the pe the teary, because the current quote-unquote gray Tonu is a lot sadder than the OGUC Tonu. And they're both sad, but like the current quote unquote gray Tonu is much more depressed. Like he's definitely been crying in the shower for a while. Like he's probably been in the shower so long that the hot water has just turned cold and he just does not care anymore okay so yeah um i do want to do a couple of revisions not that it matters in the long run but i do want to bump up the growl to the uh, eerie because i like it a little bit more um i do feel like the usul is a little bit better. Um, but 
And then the Corbett, I am going to drop down a little bit. I like the color a little bit more. And... Yeah, okay. I feel a little bit more solid about these choices. Wait, I want to bump that up. And I want to bump that up. Okay. Okay. So there's my current. Um, just because sometimes I drop them at the end and I'm like, I completely forget that I'm like ranking them per rank. So in general, that is how it is. So yeah. Um, as far as this top row goes, I love this gray design and I'm partially excited because it's new. But I definitely think that this is better. This is better. Okay. All right. We're continuing on. We have here the walkie who is sad i love to see the gray bags under their eyes i don't know why i just think that that's really cute he looks like he's sad mostly because he listens to too much mcr and wants to be sad then like something is actually terrible in his life if that makes sense um so he's like emo for the lifestyle and less emo for realsies right like he's probably like he's got his feelings right and he thinks he's sad but he's just you know not uh not to say that that's not serious okay because clinical depression is a real thing um but i think he's like crying in the shower because he wants to hear the echo of his favorite MCR song. Um, now we have the gray year bullet. Okay. All right. Like, um, don't hate me, but I love the gray year bullet so effing much. He's like the baby. Okay. He's, uh, he is like one of the pets that I was like, so excited to get. I had a gray herbal way back in the day when I was, you know, a wee lass, a wee bonnie lass. And I had a gray herbal and they were one of my favorite pets. Okay. This is before I lost my account. And I just think that they were so freaking cute. And I am 130,000% going to buy a gray herbal token as soon as they come out on the 23rd just period okay like no ifs ands or buts gray herbal is one of the pets that i will 100 percent buy i don't even care um because look at it it the, the the sad puppy dog eyes the grouping but still curled little ears the no, there's just everything about it. I just am a hundred percent about. Okay, um, I'm sticking it up there because I don't even care. Fight me, I don't care. One of my favorite pets. And last but not least, we have the gray Zafara, who is kind of giving similar energy to the gray Skeeth, where it's just like so sad because he's come from a really abusive home, and. He just, he wants to live a better life, but he doesn't know that it's even possible to do so. He doesn't know that things could be better. You're like, for real, like he's almost lost hope, but there's still a little bit of hope left. Um, I think that he's afraid for his life, just like the ski, but a little bit less uh terrified so okay and there we have it let's see do we make any 
final revisions before we submit. Um, yes, I think that the more I look at the Greg Guarl, the more I like him. I think I'm going to put him up here in a bottomless pit. Um, I like him more than the Trombi. And I think I like the Trombi less than the Uni. Okay, that makes sense. And then I think I like the Tonu more than the Tiri. I feel pretty solid about these guys. Um, and then actually, you know what? The Shoiru. I think we're going to bring him down a little bit. A lot of bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to put him there. So I think, yeah, I think that's it. So this is the final list, my final list, my final list, um, because while I s said, you know, we were ranking him, um, you know, with these names, ultimately it's just my favorite pet, not necessarily the saddest pet. If we're going to vote for the purest, saddest Neopet, period, it's probably going to be the, um, Skeeth, because, yeah, I just, I don't think anybody's going to beat this guy in sadness, really, really. Um, but these three are my top three. These are the ones that I'm going to buy instantly, um, on the 23rd. I might get the UC Grey Grundo too, I'm not sure. I'm definitely thinking I'm going to buy the... Gray Cobra because I already have a Gray Cobra converted pet. I'm like, might as well make him a UC. Um, the Loop is also one of my personal favorites. I might get one as well. I don't know. Um, and then I definitely have to get the um Croc. And yeah, so. I don't know, it just depends on how much they are when they come out in a couple days. How many I'm going to get. But I definitely want quite a few of them. So, yeah. Um, let me know down in the comments who you like the most from the um, UC Grey Pets. And let me know um, who you plan to buy on the 23rd, if any at all. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.